Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'll talk to you about the Sabre Pro and Sabre Senada bikes. I'll start first with the Sabre Pro to show you what you need to assemble once you receive the bike because I already assembled and the reason I already assembled off the camera because I have a video about Sabre. You can check the link in the description how to assemble it. It's pretty it's about the same. The only difference maybe is the rack to attach, but everything else is the same. You would need to attach the fender, the wheel to put in, to tighten up, and also attach the handlebar over here with four bolts. Um, you can check link in the description with all the information. In order to attach the fender, sometimes it can come fully assembled, like or most of the time it will be loose over here or completely. So let me show you what I did. So first I touch uh, one bolt over here and then second bolt on another side. Okay. And then um, I touch on this side as well. And I uh, notice the problem with the uh, fender, it's kind of uh, too wide open. And you don't really want to bend this fender. It's I think it's aluminum made. So what I did, I used this uh, power screw driver uh, to pushing the screw in and use this uh, screwdriver to tighten up while I'm pushing in. Otherwise, if you do manually with the tools it comes with, it will be very hard to do that because uh, you just only can do one turn and it will, the bolt will not really grab this and it will just very hard to do it so i use the power tool to attach it and now i want to talk to you about the difference as you can see uh, visually there's no much difference other than uh, tires the pro comes now with reflector also uh, it, it does come on the wheel reflector a little bit smaller than on the regular saber it's not really big difference at all um, everything else like seat post the frame actually exactly the same. Uh, I will try to get closer and show you. It's exactly the same frame design. Uh, there's no much difference at all. The battery, the same design, same size. Sabre Pro battery, exactly the same size, but it comes with not only status of the battery you can check over here, but also turn off the battery. So by pressing this button, it will completely turn off the battery. So before you start to write, make sure it's on. You can check also by pressing here. If you see the light, it means it's on. So it give you from 25 to 100% uh, status charged. And you can charge it off the bicycle right over here, this charging port. But everything else, it's exactly the same. It's the same connectors everything so if you want extra battery you can always buy one from the website also if you have saber you can always buy extra battery larger like this and it's a 48 watt 21 amp 1008 watt hours battery and the saber comes with a 15 amp it gave you like about 30 40 percent more range on riding the bicycle and um, the difference also in the weight because the battery is bigger it's only add another pound i weighed both of them so this one is about 76 pounds and a few ounces and saber pro has a uh, 77 few ounces so only one pound different 77 pounds 76 pounds so one pound difference you will not really notice at all uh, but it's because of a bigger battery so another thing to notice on this bicycle, a little bit different uh, uh, color as well. It's a gray color, uh, looks great as well. I like the black as well. So it's not really, it's just matter of uh, eye catching, like what color you like. So I don't see it's big as a difference as well. Uh, it's uh, more like mate uh, black. This one is a little bit more shiny color, but uh, also the difference you could see already the, the rack. It's thicker, more rock, rock, it's bigger, it's better. And I'm not sure if it's holding better, like more weight. It doesn't say weight on it, but this one is not bad. I didn't have any complaint other than uh, it sometimes comes a little bit damaged, but uh, it's easy to fix because it's aluminum as well. So it's easy to just bend it back. But it looks like the more 
bigger rack on the pro and the bigger difference as well comes as a light on the saber it's um, under you have to turn it on turn it off manually okay with the saber pro it's already integrated and it's not only integrated it has uh, also signal light left and right and tail light and brake light all in one you have a special uh, here like a uh, regulation so you can turn left or right let me show you once you turn left it will blink i'm on the sun it's very hard to see but it's full in the night riding mostly same way you can turn right it will blink to the right it comes also with a horn with a saber there is no horn but there is a bell uh, it's um, a little bit different i like it on the pro because it's louder and when you're riding trails people think there's a car they just get away from the road so it's really cool stuff to have exactly like this car <laughs> um the light the front light about the same there's no difference i would not say it's actually it's exactly the same okay so there's no difference in light the fork looks the same but i'm gonna go for right and tell you if i feel it's better it looks a little bit maybe better i'm not sure i will go for right and tell you while i'm testing the bike for the speed test also the motor uh it should be a funk 1000 watt motor now uh it doesn't say what brand is it it's still big motor but there's no brand it still say 1000 uh, 48 watt with 1000 watt power so it's a pretty big motor as well and should have a lot of delivery power okay both of them come with shimano 7 speed gear so i don't think there will be any difference and it looks like the same controller box on both bicycles so the main difference i would say just looking on them would be the rock tail light uh, a little bit um, reflecting tires and the biggest biggest difference is the battery everybody wants to have bigger battery because you can ride longer and further so it will give you uh, no anxiety to lose the power so it will can last for whole day with a saber it's 160 millimeter dual brakes mechanical with saber pro you got 180 millimeters disc brakes also mechanicals but they are bigger so they should give you a little bit better uh, stopping power I'm not sure how good they are, I didn't ride that much, so I'm gonna test it uh, today while I'm riding for speed test and I'll tell you if there are any improvement I can see in both of them because I'm gonna try both of them and then I'll go for the speed test on Sabre Pro also there's a difference in uh, handlebars as you can see it looks the same but with a Sabre you got 25 inch wide handlebar same grip handle half throttle cut off throttle cut off over here for safety also speed switching like uh, one to five pedal assist everything the same this the display is the same it's a sw900 and then uh, let's see on the pro same display but you probably can see it's much wider the handlebar so it's this handlebar is 27 inch versus 25 so it's two inches will make more better riding experience you have better handling same switching like for pedal assist on the side it's a little bit more comfortable i know this because you got the on the same side you got uh turn signals so i might move it a bit down or replace them so i'll see how it will go on the road eventually but everything is the same the display is great you can clear see on the sun same handles everything is half throttle uh throttle cut off over here uh same thing shimano gear switcher everything is the same the seats the same on both bikes so this uh, i like the seats it's not bad actually it's pretty good seat for this bicycle as um, 
stack seed comes with. Um, the wheels itself look the same, just the tires will be different. Which give you, so the Sabre Pro will not only give you longer range because it's bigger battery, also it has more safety features on this bike. The wheels have a reflector, the rear tail light, brake light, turn light, headlight the same, also better handling because you got a uh, uh, wider handlebar and you got uh, better brakes. Difference between these two bicycles, uh, of course there is a little bit price difference, as you can check the website link in description and see which one you want to get one. I'm not sure if they still have them in stock, I think last time they sold out, but they do have the pro on sales now. So And also the same difference will be for Herald. So if you're looking to buy a step through bike, this one is a Sabre, so it's step over. With a Herald, your frame will be a little bit smaller. So it will be easy to step through bike versus to Sabre. So Herald, I believe it would be the same difference, like tires, battery, rack, the handlebar wider everything should be the upgrade the same other than frame the frames looks like they use the same for pro or regular so that's a difference you're gonna get so now i'm gonna go for right and show you how fast it will go there are also some difference i notice which i will talk to you while i'm riding so the first i'm gonna do the speed test right now as usually and see how fast it can go on uh, throttle only and let's go. We pick up speed very quickly. So now it's 18 on GPS, 19, 22, 23, 24, 25 on GPS, 26 on GPS, 27 on GPS, 28. 28 on GPS it's about 30 miles actual mileage what I usually say two miles up or three miles up from GPS speed so it's easily get to 30 miles and I'll tell you the difference as well later on you can go probably even higher speed and I'll test it later as well at the end of the video to show you actually what the top speed you can go because I think um, in programming this bike has a, a settings uh, interface with the throttle so it's a little bit different than saber that's why i want to show you as well i'll show it at the end of the video so let's go with a pedal assist i'll go pedal assist level one actually we'll go to the five right away to see how fast i can go So it's 24 right now, 25, 26, 28, 29, 29. So the top speed was 29 on pedal assist on GPS which pretty quick it's about 31 miles as you saw already that uh, it's pretty quick and the brakes are basically already tested the brakes once I stop I can say there is a little bit improvement but I would not say a lot just a little bit more better stopping power but not a big difference between Saber and Saber Pro just maybe 10% that's about it. Actually, the bike handles the road now is better. I can feel the handlebar wider. It's a big difference right away. If you have Saber, I recommend you to upgrade the uh, handlebar if you want to get better riding experience. Like wider bar actually makes a really big difference. I knew it should give you better, but not as much. 
you are getting like better handling also at the same time better position you can lift it up by buying steam adjustable and it's only like 20 bucks i might do it later but so far so good so um, the bicycle ride very smooth there's no problems it's pretty fast now i'm gonna go to the hill local hill area it's about two mile ride and i'm gonna test it to see if it can go uphill and the battery is fully charged the battery is pretty big actually so it can handle like between 40 to 80 miles on one charge battery so it's a lot all right so after running on the streets so far i do see and uh, notice uh, like different in the fork actually so they did improve the better fork as well so i can say that they did actually a good job yeah i can feel like it's better fork um and it looks exactly the same about but much better spring or maybe it's hydraulic but i can say it's better also it's rather smooth i think the motor not that loud anymore the motor is not loud it's hard to say here because it's kind of loud so definitely there is big improvement in pro versus to saber also i noticed the difference the way the throttle works with a pedal assist so in a regular saber the throttle would be working independently regardless how much pedal assist set one or five or three pedal assist level with the pro you are going as fast as a pedal assist set so if you put pedal assist one let, let me show you pedal assist one right now you cannot really go fast it will go only like six seven miles an hour the way it sets it up uh, you can change in, in uh, level in programming and uh, p8 to put to 50 100 percent and i think if you do this way the throttle only will go up to 35 miles an hour so i'm gonna test it later when i come back to see if it's correct but that's the biggest difference also so pedal assist and throttle now uh, depend on each other so basically you you cannot throttle faster than pedal assist set so I'm almost here. This is, a, this is a hill. I'm gonna test it. It's actually a very steep hill. Uh, even walking uphill is hard. So not every bicycle can make it uphill. So only Harold or some other bikes made it before. So let's try it and see if I can make it right now. And I will use level five because the throttle depends on the pedal assist. And let's go and see if the throttle only will go uphill oh, wow it's already 60 miles an hour 17 so i think last time i tested it was about nine or six something like that but as long as it can make it uphill that will tell me if the motor is still that powerful so far it's about eight miles which is not bad just keep going let's keep going already past this mark uh, some bicycle already would die actually one of the bicycle burn controller on this hill and our motor i think controller uh, i'll leave it below but uh, it's going six miles but i'll do another test actually i will uh, remove these settings back to the 100 percent and see how fast I'll go and actually the battery didn't even drop and I'm still going uphill it's about six miles an hour so it's about seven to eight and it's still going uphill throttle only no help at all wow it's made it good job okay
Now I'm gonna go downhill, test the brakes as well to see how they, because this one is good, not only testing the uphill riding, also the brakes. The brakes, minimum braking, yeah, it's brake okay. Let's go faster. Then brake. Uh, cannot really lock in the wheel to break it so mechanical brakes are okay but not the best for the hill okay so now i'm gonna go to programming and then i'll go to the setting to p8 it says 28 kilometers so i'll set it up to higher let's say probably I'll do 100 actually. 100 it means 100% uh, throttle use the power of the motor. So there's no restriction at all on the speed. The only problem is with this, your pedal assist one will go very fast. That's something not gonna be good if you need pedal assist. So go to 100 and press two, up and low and let's go back. So now good. So I'm gonna go full throttle right now and see how fast it'll go. Uh, it's uh, set to 100% now, and throttle only, pedal assist level 5. It's already 21 mile, 24, 26, 27, 28. 28 miles because I'm weighing 215 pounds so it's about 30 31 miles an hour with me on top of it if you lighter I think you can reach much faster and of course I don't recommend you to change this uh, programming leave it at 28 I think it's best because if you change 200 your pedal assist level one will go to up to 80 miles an hour right away which is not safe and that's about it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye